today I wanted to share a bit of a chatty video about how minimalism has transformed my life. I have completed a whole year of no spending and it's absolutely transformed my life. It has made me declutter, it's helped me to save money, clear debt and it's helped me turn towards a minimalist lifestyle and I wanted to go into more detail about how that's really helped me transform my life. My name is Rachel, I do videos all about minimalism, decluttering and my no spend year and I have now done almost a year and a half of no spending and it really has made a difference. So just over a year ago, probably in about December 2020, I decided that I wanted to clear my debt and I wanted to save for a house deposit. I wanted to change my life and make it feel better. I, I don't know what it is that I was thinking, I just knew that it just wasn't what I wanted it to be and I wanted it to change. I had probably about seven and a half thousand pounds worth of debt and this was in a variety of different kind of pockets of things. I had a high purchase car, which was quite low interest. I had um, some overdrafts, I had student one, I had a main account one, I had credit card, but I was just allowing to kind of sit there and I was paying what I needed to pay, but I wasn't really clearing it. And I knew that I could do better than that and I honestly couldn't tell you what I used to spend my money on. So I would have a good sizable amount of money that should be kind of left over each month that I wasn't seeing and that I wasn't clearing off of debt and I really wanted to make a difference to how I was feeling because I know that money has always been a huge kind of financial anxiety for me and I wanted to take that pressure off myself and think about things differently. I think the kickstart that I had that made me open my eyes and realise that I could make a difference and change things around was that I inherited a little bit of money. It, by a little bit I would just mean like a very little bit and it was enough to clear my student overdraft. And um, This was one that was just about to start having interest applied to it. I'd reached the maximum number of years that I could at Actually no, it wasn't interest free. That one had just, it was it was charging me interest, but it was a very small amount. But it was just before they were about to kind of skyrocket the interest from about one or 2% to be about 19 or 20%. So it was going to be going from like a couple of quid each month interest, which was kind of manageable. And it was, it was a sizable amount. It was like 2000 and I knew that the interest was going to go up to about £50 a month and I was like I cannot I cannot justify paying a bank for the privilege of having the debt at £50 a month. I was like I need to clear it, that's like my priority and as soon as that money came in I cleared it and it was like a weight had lifted, like it honestly felt so freeing to know that that worrisome debt had gone and it just kind of snowballed from there really I realized that actually I could potentially pay off good amounts of money off of my debt without going without quite that much I mean I did start a no spend year and the aim was to go without but I knew that I could do it comfortably if I wanted to so that hence why I then pushed myself to do it a little bit quicker and get to a point where I was paying off sizable amounts every month. I knew that I had about 3,000 I think on my car, maybe three and a half, four on my car and I knew that that was charging me interest. It wasn't high interest but because it was a large amount over so many years, like, like five years, I knew that I could shave quite a lot of the interest off if I paid in big chunks. So if I paid more than 500 I would be able to get rid of a good two to three hundred pounds worth of interest overall and reduce the amount of term term time that I had on my loan. So I decided then to pay off big chunks and clear my car first of all. And that was amazing when I got to clear that one. I did it in little chunks, so I'd pay like six, seven hundred pounds off at a time. And it didn't take me that long, probably about five to six months maximum to clear off my car 
and it just meant that I didn't have another £100 coming out of my account so I got rid of one of my monthly payments of £91 I think it was so that I didn't have that coming out anymore and it just meant that I had another bit of control of my money so I no longer had interest going out for my overdraft and I had another £100 saved from my car so it just meant that I had more money in my pocket then each month naturally so it meant that I had more money then to pay off other debts so then I had a credit card to clear which was completely interest free it wasn't costing me anything but I knew that I had like 10 months before that was going to run out and I thought well let's just get rid of that let's just not have that sitting on me it wasn't very much at all it was just a few hundred pounds it just meant another one cleared off of the list that wasn't then going to start sneaking up on me with interest or charges so I knew I had to clear it before that um, interest free period ran out. What happened when I started my no spend year was that I was really thinking about my budget. I've always been a girl that's budgeted. I have budgeted since I was 18 or 19 when I first moved out and moved into my own place with somebody. I've always budgeted. It doesn't mean that I have had much money because I think I was still always on the bed line, only ever had enough money to kind of pay the bills to eat and have a little bit of spare cash. It was never big money because I was only 18 at the time, but I've always been good at budgeting. I've always known exactly what's coming in, what's going out and where it's going. So it got to the point where I needed to look at that budget again and think about what is happening with that extra money that I don't see and I couldn't tell you what I was buying with it. There was nothing in my home that I could say, oh, that's when I spent 500 pounds on a TV, or that's when I spent 500 pounds on a laptop. I didn't have those things. I didn't buy big ticket items. It was just knick-knacky things or extra food or takeaway and things like that. And it just wasn't anything that I could show. There just wasn't anything that I could show for my money. And that was the problem. I knew that I was spending money and I had nothing to show for it. So I looked at my budget and looked at exactly what was coming out and where I could have a bit of a buffer, like a sinking fund, so that I had money for emergencies if I needed it. And then I had extra money left over. I would automatically straight away pay onto a debt so that I didn't have it sat in my account. As soon as you pay something off of a debt, you can no longer spend it. So the plan was to immediately put it aside. So I paid off all my debt first and then once I'd finished paying off my debt, I could then save. I got myself a LISA, a lifetime ISA, which means I could save for a house deposit and you'd get 25% bonus on anything up to 4,000 that you put in it. So it was essentially free money that I was getting. So I had the opportunity to save. So I then started saving what I could for the next year, uh, for the next few months until I got to my until I got to a point where I had about 5,000 saved. And that's kind of where I'm at now. I'm now at the point where I'm a little bit concerned about the housing market and it is quite impossible to get on the market now for me. So because my health has not been great and I have struggled with fatigue and various different illnesses over the, the past few months with COVID and um, developing IBS and things like that, that I now have prioritise my health so I've now looked at booking holidays and things like that so I'm actually getting experiences out of my money now so I've still got money saved um, and put aside but I'm now thinking about how I can utilise money and enjoy my time with my son because life is for living at the minute so that's kind of where I am and so part of the process when I was decluttering I made lots of money by selling items that I could that made a difference. I also then felt like I had more space around me. I felt calmer, more relaxed. I just, and it just felt easier to kind of keep on top of things. When as a single mum, you have to do everything. To have less stuff to tidy, less stuff to organise, less stuff to clean, it does make life that little bit easier. So I'm very thankful that I'm in a position now where I don't feel like it's the burden to do that to have to do everything I just get on with it and when I have issues with my fatigue and it gets worse it just means that I'm able to manage things that little bit better 
like my mental attitude towards it is much more kind of relaxed and open to just resting if I need to or doing stuff as and when I feel like it. So there's no pressure then on having to try and keep things tidy because it's a much easier manageable home now completely. So I decluttered, I stopped spending and it just meant that I was really kind of considerate on what I was doing. I've thought about how I spend my time and prioritised friends and family and what's important to me and I'm now in a much better kind of place and that's thanks to decluttering, thanks to no spending and to kind of adapting a minimalist lifestyle. So my plan is to keep going with that and to keep developing a slower like lifestyle choice I guess and adopting that slow living kind of sim slow simple living kind of lifestyle and I'm hoping that that will just continue to help me to thrive and kind of get the best out of my life which is kind of what it's about isn't it so yeah I would say that the year of no spending has had a massive impact on me I have cleared debt I have saved I've been able to prioritize my money where it should be and I have adapted a minimalist lifestyle that has made my life so much easier as well as easier to manage and just more relaxed and calm. So it really has made a difference to me. I've got lots of videos about minimalism, decluttering and my no spend year, which I'll link um, down below as well in the different playlists that I have. So do check them out if you want to find out how I've got on each month. I do track my no spend each month and how I've got on. I track um, my decluttering, so I've done Christmas decluttering, I've done declutter with me. So I will keep doing those things as well. Uh, it never ends, there's always stuff to do better. And also I share all my advice and tips that I've discovered about minimalism that has really helped me. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you want to see more videos on decluttering, minimalism and my no spend year. Take care, bye.